No, I've been thinking. I'm thinking about everything which I've done since I've been back. And I'm not proud. Like, I think I thought I would be here. I'm not happy. And I, I don't know why I, I thought that that would be a good idea, but maybe it was, maybe. But I kept saying that one day people would know why I did this and why wanted this, but it feels like it's not. It feels like maybe I'm the one person that doesn't. And everyone did the right thing, they moved away, like, they're all gone. They all left. I mean, Michelle is our She's not very far away, but it's not here. It's not in Furniston. And for some reason, I just know she's never coming back. And I have to live with that. Knowing that my best friend will probably never come back to our home because of something I did. Because I was stupid and, and decided that protecting people was more important. Than her, but I wasn't even protecting them. I, I hurt people. It's like I left for Acacia Ball. I left Furniston behind because I didn't want to hurt anyone. And I came back to try and stop it from ever hurting anyone, from stopping it from hurting anyone, but just ended up hurting more people. And in the end, like, I'm not okay. Like, it's not okay what I did. And I don't even understand why I did it. It was like, it was like, left this world and came back just a few days ago and I, I realized what I did. I realized what I did and it wasn't okay and that because of everything that I've done, I may never get to see my friends really. Get to see Michelle and Cassie oh, and Lumpy. I forget to see them. I mean, Lumpy was here from the first citizen. A friend of another. I just blow up this. Friend to run off and never want to see me again. I think he never wants to see me again. And I, I don't. I don't blame him. And this is.
the town that he's created, and it's, it's so beautiful, and it's everything to him, and maybe I need to make a case about everything to me. Because I don't, I can't, I can't live with myself anymore. I feel like everyone is gonna hate me. And I'll, I'll never get to anything because because I'm stupid and I'm, I'm a moron and I need to apologize and take accountability for everything that I've done you know it's horrible because there was this this one time in Kishville, and, you know, recording this is, this log of my life, it, it helps me, it helps me realize that everything I done, did was wrong, and watching everything back on my little camera. Is... It's horrible, but at least... At least maybe one day... Someone will find... Wherever I was, and they'll see... They'll see... That what I did was wrong, and they'll never, ever try to do that. I think I'll just leave this in a chest with a sign. This is from Daisy. I need to apologize, because if I don't apologize, then they might think that I was never sorry, and they might think that I meant it, that I wanted them to hurt like that. I didn't, I didn't want them to hurt like that. I never wanted to hurt them. I wanted to do the opposite. I wanted to protect them. It's not an excuse, but... I'm naive. I was naive. I know nothing about this world. I thought... I thought I did. But I won't ever. No, I mean, maybe, maybe it is just the best thing for me to leave for them to never have to see my me ever again after I have to look at me ever. Someday maybe someone will come to visit me and they'll know just how sorry I wanna be. I'm forever in everyone's
mom's dead. I'm going to tell everyone how sorry I am that I hope that it can never, ever happen again. I want them to know that I will love them forever. I don't deserve them. I don't deserve any of them. I will never deserve. I, I, will, never, I will never be able never be able to come back from this because I mean I killed Michelle. Yeah, she killed me back, but... I tried to protect her. And I killed her. I'll never, ever be able to come back from that. You know, I hurt a lot of people. I didn't. I hurt a lot. And I... So sorry for all of it, but I'm, I'm really, I am the most sad because Michelle, you know, you might be saying, oh, that's stupid because everyone got hurt, but the reality is Michelle. the only person that I ever wanted to Nikesh Bell. I was the only person that I ever wanted, period, and because she's my best friend. You know, I was broken. So broken because of well, I, think. When I was first building my beautiful forest. So, she saw me in the building stuff and she got interested and She wanted to build up the town. I never logged out because it was when I was broken. I don't even know if Cassie's ever going to see this because she's gone. And well, I don't know where she is. I guess I should start packing. Start getting ready to leave. Oh, what do I need? There two. Never logged this in my camera either, but when Michelle, before I left, way before this was okay. Um, so, um, uh, right here. Was a cat. This was it, and Michelle was building me a summer home, and she had finally finished, and and I was happy, and I went to go live in it for a little bit to have fun. Um, but the day I left, I got an urgent call from Michelle. 
she said that her cow had been had been shot by a <clears throat> skeleton. It had been shot by a skeleton, and um, she was so sad. She made us have a funeral for it, but it was only me and her in town that day. So, and she had to go, she had to leave town really soon. This was the letter, letter that he dropped when he died. And this is Michelle's voice. I think I should probably get going. I'm gonna go back to Acacia Bell. I'm never, I'm never gonna come back. Because if I come back this time, I know where I will be wanted, and... No one will forgive me. I won't be forgiven. Because what I did was horrible. And I don't... I don't deserve this. I don't deserve a place in Brennan's tent. So... I'm leaving. No one's ever going to come back to Furnace 10. It's, it's done. This era. The first era. It's over. Because I think we all know deep down that um, First ten is it's over. It's done. And I'm gonna leave my cat. Pride. Take good care of anyone who ever comes back. Or if anyone ever stumbles upon Franston for the first time, I need you to tell them everything. Exactly what happened. And why they should find somewhere beautiful or find someone else to live with. Not me, though. If anyone comes looking for me, tell them that I'm gone and I'm never coming back. Goodbye, Bride. We'll miss you.